Well, over the weekend, dozens of children and young adults from the Twin Tiers and surrounding region came to Painted Post for a special summer camp experience. WENY's Isabel Garcia explains how this summer camp is unique and how it impacts more than just the campers. It's called Camp Courage for a reason. This camp's amazing. The sense of resilience and the, the true sense of survival in, you know, in these kids is really what it is. It's designed for children ages 6 to 17, but these campers are all burn survivors. Camp Courage is hosted through the Finger Lakes Regional Burn Association and is free for the children to attend. All of the kids share an unspoken understanding, but each of their stories is different. My dad took me from my grandma's house two days before my second birthday, and he was intoxicated, and he fell asleep with a cigarette, and the house kind of caught on fire, and now I'm here. <laughs> There's people around here that understand me, and they know what I've been through, and then when I go home, my mom and my family there, they understand, but they don't know. Like, they don't know what I've been through. All they know is, like, how it's been. It's confusing to tell, but... It's just easier here because everyone knows what you've been through. They experience themselves, so they know how it feels. They feel like when they come here, they can do anything they want. They can express how they really feel. And we try to inter interact with each other and be, be supportive. Shaheen was about eight years old when his accident happened. He found a lighter and was playing with it in his room when his pillow caught on fire. Naturally, Shaheem got scared, but the situation became more dangerous. I had hid behind the dresser, then the dresser fell on me, fire everywhere. Then I couldn't get up, I couldn't move, but I heard my family calling, calling my name. Shaheem remembers the accident happening during the winter time and says a neighbor broke through his bedroom window and threw him into the snow to stop the flames. He now volunteers as a counselor with Camp Courage, helping other children in their recovery. For all of the people who attend camp here and those who help out too, it's not just a summer retreat, it becomes their second family. People in the burn community talk about their burn family and they use that term profoundly because it truly becomes a family and not just to the burn survivors but to all of us. And I feel like this is my home and to see everyone grow up and take responsibility. For camp leaders, the goal is to create an environment where kids can be kids. Reporting in Painted Post, I'm Isabel Garcia, WENY News.